Hello. Um, welcome back, everyone. Uh, how are you all? I don't know why I'm asking that. <laughs> you're asking Nobody's going to fucking answer, are they? <laughs> sounds like you're about to do a statement. <laughs> I know I did, actually. Hello. <laughs> uh, my wife went missing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. She was dead when I arrived. <laughs> uh, how are you, Ryan? Not so bad. Um, Good. We're seeing how the, you know, how, actually not. How are you doing? Eh... Uh, <laughs> I've had a t- oh, I, no right so because <laughs> um, the backdrop first of all we'll deal with that yeah the backdrop it, it might not I mean obviously if you're just watching it if you're just watching it if you're just listening in an audio you won't uh, recognize this but the backdrop is the bricks are higher because <laughs> the end here I uh, yeah I've just left the stand on the train <laughs> um this this looks like the studio is wearing a t-shirt that, it does the trunk in the wash. Aye. <laughs> it's like a bodybuilder, uh, but I fucking honest to god, and the thing is, I'm I'm really really forgetful anyway. I'm wearing my glasses. I just realised. So yeah, <laughs> <Ew. laughs> <Nerd>. <laughs> um, I uh, I forget stuff all the time, and yeah. because that was something, because I've got it to a way where if I go on, I pack everything in my rucksack, and if I've got that, I know at least if I've got I've got everything if it's in that. Yeah. So because I had a new thing today. I was trying to do that aye, aye, fucking, aye. like, right, okay, pinch yourself so that you yeah, know yeah, that yeah, you've yeah. got. And then the minute I walked off the train, I went, <laughs> the fucking stand! And then was pressing the thing like that, and then there's some woman conductor yelling at me, get away from the train! <laughs> oh, I left something on, doesn't matter! Get away from it! I was like, you could have let me on. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'd have but, quite happily gone to the next station and then get a taxi, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck's sake. Nah. That's that's annoying. They had sure, like, um, they, when you came in, you see, I was like, I thought that the stuff was here. Mm. You know, we left the backdrop here, so I was like, God, it's not here. So when you walked in and didn't have it, I was like, <laughs> do you have the backdrop? And you went... Well, yes, <laughs> I which did. was so confusing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not your, <laughs> and then you went, well, <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, um, apart from that, um, I had to cancel us recording yesterday because I fucked my neck. I fucking forgot about this. Um, th- th- I've really realized the past, the past four, I've just come on with shit that's wrong with me. Have so you? It's become like a medical Thing now. Okay. Um, I don't even know what happened. I woke up in the morning. I never really had any problems with my neck, but I woke up in the morning and couldn't fucking move it. And I've never known pain like it. Like it's so you don't realise how much you need your neck for <laughs> everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely everything. <laughs> um, the two things that were the most difficult, right? <laughs> Getting into the car. <laughs> oh yeah. Right? Because. Like, I go, I don't know how you go in the car. I know a lot of people go in, like, <laughs> leg first. first. But I do go in head first. I duck my head, and then I kind of crawl uh, uh, into the into the driver's seat. <laughs> you crawling? Like, I don't put my leg in first. Hold on. So you put... Oh, you do, like, a... Yeah. Oh, that's... What I do you... crawl right in. That's like... A, you, you're still doing the thing like you did as a kid, trying to get into the, the toy ones. Yes. you couldn't go... T- you couldn't go leg first in that because they weren't stable enough. No. And they would scoot, so you yeah. have to... That's exactly what I do. So you've continued um, that on with a car so I do much that, heavier than you. And uh, that and wiping your arse, <laughs> that is impossible when you've got a sore neck. Because, like, if you think you've got it, like, like that's sore already. You, you, that. Did, you did that. Aye, but you've what, got you to look. Try, you look at your arse when you're wiping No, I don't, but, but your natural body just, like, well, yeah, it depends. Yeah, yeah, okay. Are right. you a, are you a, do you stand up to wipe your arse or do you sit down? I think it's a mix. Depending on how you feeling. mix it up? Mix it up, I reckon. Fucking psychopath. I reckon sitting down 90% of the really? time. Really? Yeah. That's, apparently, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Are you? But I always get up. <laughs> oh, you get up. No. Yeah. I would definitely be sitting 90% of the time, but I definitely have done the other two. I feel like doing do you ever myself. have a look? <laughs> oh, no. You're wiping no, then. Get... No, I've done it with uh, my nose before. Aye, oh, God, and that's, go, aye, that's standard. And aye, then you're but... like, no, I, no I, I would be too worried. But the good thing with the nose is you have to open it up so it becomes like a Rorzak test. Like, it's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, Thatcher's dead again. But, no, you never, like, wait, we're asking then have we... <laughs> we sniff. <laughs> I, I mean, even if I did, aye. I wouldn't tell. It'd be too, like... I, I I don't sniff. I, I, yeah, well, I'd, I, I'd that. look. I look quite a bit. <laughs> quite if, a bit. if I know it's been like, well, you'd have br- to. Look, if I know but, if it's been but brutal. Here's the here's 
hair. Blood yes. again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. My thing is, you would have a look at the very end to make sure it's fully wiped. Ah, no, I go with a first gen. So no, that's what that was my point. Do you go like immediately? Because ah, I, I, I wouldn't do because the first one's a good stuff. <laughs> Rest of it, you're just chipping away. Um, do you know there's that thing where people in the West we don't we don't uh, defecate properly? What, because what you know how you know how like uh, is that like the way we, Japanese are? Like, you don't even you don't use a bidet or a Japanese toad. You yeah, well, dirty bastard. You know how people go always think like a, like a, a kind of third world country where they're like squatting over a hole in the ground. Apparently, that's like the the best way to defecate because you're not putting as much strain on yourself ah. um, so what we should do with our our western toilets is we should have our legs up <laughs> we should have our feet up on the side of the toilet so that we're almost in a squatting position and then it it, 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 not- it just it, it's easier to do and it produces it's got less strength less less tension and less strenuous. It's going to be, it's going to make fucking toilets, but weird when you have to pull down basically a roll bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, like yeah. A roll bar and then put your, 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 your legs up over it. Yeah. God, man. That, I feel like that'd be, and also you're asking for trouble if you were very sick. Oh, aye. Jesus aye. Christ. Aye. Oh, no. It's like a 50 cal going off. <laughs> I wouldn't change the way I shit, but. I would never change the way I I'm shit. I'm too, I'm too deep you in. You ever now. done an upper decker? The what? An upper decker? What's what? <laughs> you take a shit in the cistern. Fucking <laughs> 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 hell! Oh Jesus, that's amazing. What is? I've not heard that before. No. I, do you know what I think that it's in? I think it's in. It's definitely in a movie. Um, MacGruber. Oh yeah, I know MacGruber. Yeah, he mentions it in MacGruber as well. Oh uh, wow! Because I remember going and film, going, "Ah, oh, hilarious!" An upper decker. <laughs> <laughs> Shit in the cistern. Oh Christ! Oh my god! So, um, I won't be looking at you that much. Yeah, that's very, yeah. Very you're going to have to be do that. looking straight ahead. Um, and I got a massager. Right, here's the thing. Can we can we stop normalizing? <laughs> Thai massages. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they're not normal at all. Yeah. This is the second one I've <laughs> this, had. This just sounds like you're, you're pregnant. Like, she wanked me off. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't normal. No, but like, yeah. even, this is a perfectly legitimate business with no wanking at all. Yeah, yeah. But it's still fucking surreal and it shouldn't be, it should be something that people go, that was mental. Yeah, yeah. It's a tiny woman crawling over you. <laughs> Like you're lying down and there's a tiny woman did you kneeing to, you in the back. Did you did you have to tell her that, you know, I can't move my head yeah. after yesterday? And she was like, well, I've got the thing for you. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they kicked the shit out of you. Like I've got bruises on my back. Why, how how, <laughs> yeah. how badly she fucking went in. I, I don't know. I've, I've had like two massages in my life in like a spa setting, yeah. right? And the first time I laughed most of it. Aye. And the second time I laughed half of it. It wasn't like I couldn't calm down. Yeah. I couldn't get into a relaxed state. It was nice, but I, it wasn't, I didn't do it right. I hate them. So, yeah, do, do, but I I have like, I kind of like think, feel like it'll be class getting in and getting like a, like I fell for the chiropractor one. I, I did, got one of them during lockdown. Oh, the, like. The cracking shit, yeah. right? And that's kind of a waste of time, but also enjoyable. Mm. Whereas I kind of feel like a sports massage where they're, you know, Oh, punching your heels deep and... tissue shit like I, 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 I feel like that would be class I feel like I need that I mean it's so sore she said to me yesterday she was like you're one of the most solid people I have ever dealt with solid solid and I was like normally that be I would take that as a compliment but and I was like alright how do you mean and she just went you don't move like she was like, you're so inflexible, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and she then she said, Have you ever stretched in your life? <laughs> in your life. Have you ever stretched? Not, in even, your life? not even in the past six months. In your life, this is a completely unstretched body. <laughs> this is a right out of the packet fucking body that has never moved. <laughs> They're like, they're like fucking what do you call him? The Michael Chiklis in the Fantastic Four. <laughs> the the rock, the, the thing. thing. Doing a massage thing. Have you ever fucking moved? Oh god, oh my That's so funny. You're the most. Have you ever stretched? Have in you your ever life? stretched in your? <laughs> it was the in your life. 
I couldn't fucking <laughs> believe it. That means as a kid. I was starting to think, I hope this is lost in translation, but she had a Glaswegian accent, so I was like, I can't even claim this Thai woman. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> fucking doesn't know what she's talking about. Like, she's, <laughs> she's a bit, bit brazen <laughs> out at the counter. She's very brazen, that one. Oh, God. Thai roast massage. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there was a thing. Uh, there was a thing you messaged me during the week that you wanted to talk about, which is the fact that you did your taxis in fifty-five minutes, <laughs> which is insane. I took a whole day off, like on a calendar. And here we go, January, January fourteenth. You better do your self-employed tax. Mm. You know, I took the whole day off. I'll, do, you know, that just sit there and do it. You know, um, yeah, I started at nine o'clock and I was done by nine fifty-five. Wow. <laughs> That's unbelievable. But I suppose because you've got an agent, so it's no. What it what it what it is is I've got an app, so every expense of it I I put it in immediately. So when I buy, ah. as soon as I buy a ticket, I screenshot and put it in the app. It's just I've just put made a part of my day. So when ah. you fill in the expenses thing, it, like you'd have to go through it. I basically had it done and labeled already in a row. So all I just had to do is like fill in all the expenses. All ah, right, that's that is good. Do you do, do you? put it in yourself or do you go to an accountant i usually do an accountant and oh, then yeah. this year i couldn't afford the accountant because of the tax bill coming up it's a vicious <laughs> circle <laughs> right <laughs> so then uh i was like i better do it this year and then i did it this year and i was like oh, i can't believe i've paid him to do this <laughs> i see i, I if, like you like doing it i like getting an attack a, a ta- no an accountant I, to do it because it's it's a, definitely don't have to worry about it um i think it's because i earn so little as well Aye. I went under the bracket, so they were like, they were just like, I was like, okay, so there's not that much to check here. Aye, it's when, aye. Once you get into like how much percentage is owned and all this stuff. Aye, I've still not done mine. I started, I kind of started last night. But mine takes, mine doesn't even take, it's not even like, it's not back to the old days when I first did it, which was literally just a box full of receipts. Yeah, Whereas yeah. Whereas now I just... I, all I do payments, is, your I, I do, I, I, I download my entire statement for the year on my banking app. Yeah. And then I just go through it and delete stuff that isn't part of. So the majority of it gets deleted, and yeah. then I'll search through and go, "Ooh, Megabus, <laughs> yeah, Ooh, yeah, train yeah, line, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah." And yeah, that's yeah. that's basically. But it, it takes fucking ages. Yeah, yeah. Um, does it's one of those things. Doing taxis, it's very much. It, it's exactly the same as walking through airport security. You never, at any point, feel comfortable that you're doing it right. completely legit. Yes, yes, yes. I'm you always think out. I'm, I'm shafting, I'm conning somebody yeah. in some way here. Have I got a baggie on me? Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are they going to catch my keys? Are my keys going to come up mental? On that? <laughs> Uh, like they just like it comes up like you've got cancer uh, I know, uh, in I a know. fucking thing like yeah well check this guy um <laughs> no like I, when i did it i was like well that's that i feel like i've done it wrong Aye. i did feel like i'd absolutely tore through it and i was like god i don't then i was like i have a degree in economics so maybe i so maybe i did know more than i thought i was Aye. like oh that was easier than i thought but then i was like oh maybe it's just you actually did learn maybe something it's so much easier as well when you have a, because this will be the, this will be the, this is the last year I realised that I'll be able to have it through. Cause next year is going to be a fucking nightmare because just now for income, when I was with Brett and Dean, mm-hmm. I'll just have all the invoices, all the statement, all the settlement statements. Oh yeah, that's easy. so I just hand them over to my accountant and go right, add all that shit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, whereas next year. Because since then I've been on my all own. All over the place. I'm like, oh, for the fuck. <laughs> Go for emails like, there. Oh, God. It'll be like, because I always try and make it quite exciting for myself and go, imagine, <laughs> this is so fucking lame, right? <laughs> I just realised this. So I didn't, uh, for, the, for the very first time I did it, um, I realised I had like three years worth to do because I'd just been so, I, it was genuine kind of, naivety and ignorance is this and just when you're younger i when i was younger oh, i didn't i didn't, I didn't know i didn't I know, still know that f- in ireland i, 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 I didn't know what the fuck i was doing i thought i thought i used to be in ireland any time and it mostly it is in ireland i was like oh no but it, you do it automatically from our wages ah uh, yeah 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 because i was so used to just <laughs> yeah yeah so the first time i did self-assessment um i had so much stuff to go through from emails bits of paper i had fucking boxes of shit so I remember sitting down and going, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at like 10 at night 
and I'm just gonna keep doing it. I'll I'll, I'll just keep <laughs> drinking coffee, right? And I <laughs> I pretended I was a detective trying to solve a crime. <laughs> Oh no! I was like, you've got all this shit to get through, and you have to get it done by the morning. Like this, this, you, you this woman, in a this woman's scene. gonna die. Right? <laughs> I've got shit pinned to walls, string going between different dates. Going right, right, <laughs> right. If you got the mega bus, then that must have meant you were doubling up with fucking Shrewsbury, and it must have like, <laughs> That's so fucked. Oh, You're God. looking at the. You know, looking at the clock spinning. Fucking arsehole. Yeah. Uh, great. That oh, was very funny. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I took a whole day off then. I was like, great, I have a free day now. Ah, oh, fuck, I fucking wish. Oh, so God. That app did the job. And I did have all those things, so it's easy. But you, you know, when I first went to the account and they went, you're a comedian, right? I just want to tell you, oh, in this place, we do things by the book. And I went, Is that the same one that Gareth went ah, to? Yeah. yeah, so we all well, give me out this. So he gave out to Gareth and gave it to me before we started. And I was like, this is very funny because in my head, that meant uh, that meant enough people that have come in here were comedians just totally taking the piss. Aye, but he'll also have heard the Jimmy Carr stuff and gone, oh, comedians are just ah, these yeah. shite bags that don't yeah, bother yeah. paying. Yeah. I don't mind paying tax. I, do I, mind paying, I mind paying and getting shit f- uh, services Yeah, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that, but yeah, that's fair. I'm not a, a tax avoider. I would. <laughs> that was like, <laughs> I'm not a tax avoider. That was like that. That was like that Chris Rock thing where men taking credit for something they're just supposed to be doing. <laughs> Listen, I am not a tax avoider. Okay. <laughs> so, I take big, care of my you've, kids. Got, you've got a big hero here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, great stuff. Did you see the... Uh, I, I talked about my other podcast, unfortunately, but uh, the Liam Neeson um, racism thing? No. Not the... A new one? Oh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Talk to me. Right. Because this isn't the... I'm going to walk around the streets and if I, if I find any... Black people yeah. are going to kill them. No, no, there's another. Wow. This is from like 2016, so it's, right, not even okay. a, it's not even a thing, right? I'm going to play it out loud so you can hear it, right? Uh, so that they can hear it, and I'll do this. But it's just uh, Liam Neeson, and it's a movie called The Silence, okay, that right. he is thing. So. It sounds like an incredible shoot, but there was an earthquake, Joey, and that must have been quite terrifying for yourself and all of the cast members. Terrifying. I was in a hotel on the 19th floor in the morning. And the building shook. I'd been in an earthquake before in LA. For some reason, it was different. I got under a doorway, because they all say, get under a doorway. And as I was standing there in the room shaking, I thought, this is crazy. So I got my passport, went out into the hallway. And the hallway was going like this. I'm not exaggerating. And there was a little lady dressed in black who was the manageress of that floor. She was knocking on the doors with her clipboard, checking the rooms had been cleaned to the right perfection all the rest of it. She turned and saw me like this up against the door. And she said, Ah, no problem, no problem. I'd be here 20 years. No problem. Oh, my God. That was it. But it was scary. (laughs) Jesus Christ. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) funniest thing is he does that full accent and then at the end he goes anyway it was scary <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> the guy's just sitting there going Why did he to- <laughs> anyway the silence uh, oh my god on amazing. amazon prime oh god that's so good, good. <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> like there's nothing to say about it it's just amazing i didn't see any of that at all I, I, I think it only came, I just saw it came up in my, uh, you know, like the Instagram reels. Jesus. And it came up and I was like, oh, is this just, and I had to Google it. It was like 2016, 17. I was like, fuck, it's not even just happened. Wow. So he's all, he got away with this after all the, that's insane. My God. It's, it's the fact that he builds it up as if it I was. I know, I know. I, 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 because, then, because you told me it was a racist thing, <laughs> I was like, I don't know where he's going with this at all, but I didn't expect that. Oh, no problem. She you just did the L thing. I know. No I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what are we getting into? Right. Uh, this week's film is our first ever Western. Yeah. The great American genre. 
genre. Uh, the Western, and we, we're going, I mean, pretty much the standard Western, which is uh, The Magnificent Seven. The Mag Seven. Mag Seven. Do you know, I was surprised. I didn't know this was a Western. I thought this was like an IRA movie. <laughs> You know, like the Guildford Four and the Burning in Six. <laughs> Magnificent Seven. I thought, it was, I thought it was a sequel to Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this doesn't look like Belfast. Um, <laughs> so it's a remake of uh, the Kurosawa classic, The Seven Samurai, which Aye, that's a fit. I've never seen. Um, but any time, uh, there's been a couple of times where I've been like that, right? There's going to be films class films that I've never seen. So I'm going to go to IMDb and just rate, do the top 250 rated films. Yeah. And it's always, if it's not top, it's very close. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, one of the only ones I've never, ever seen. There's always that movie, In the Mood for Love. Oh, I don't know that. It's always, it's like, I can't remember where it is. It's an Asian film, uh, I don't know, like 10 years ago. But it's every time it's rated, it's always like 99.9% of everyone aye, aye. that's ever seen it. Aye. So it must be some hey, film. How good can it be, really? Doesn't look that good. I know. You know? A lot, sh- of, lot of fornicating, it looked like. There's some shite class films. I fucking saw an absolute, this is not going to jump into this. Poor things. Oh, is it pish? Oh, the, it is great. It's great. I fucking thought it was. It's mental. It's the most fucked up film. People are fucking. You know, you're on about twats watching like salt burning, going, "Oh, this is mad." And I'm like, "It's not." Uh-huh. You know, without sounding pretentious, like, <laughs> how is that a shocking film to you? Yeah. Right. Fucking poor things is the most fucked. All right. Who's is that? Emma Stone. Or? Emma Stone yeah. acting disabled, being finger blasted for two hours. Sweet. Yeah, William Defoe's unbelievable. It's it's oh, if Defoe's in it, it's, it's gonna like, be. Of course, it's gonna be fucking it's mental. Fucking, in, it's an insane film. It's the most one of the most fucked up films I've ever seen. It's great though, right? Right. Um, some parts of it, you're just like, wait, I'm, you're losing me now, and then you come back, right? So I thought it was great. The thing was, I googled afterwards who it was, and it was this Greek director, and I was like looking through his films, and he did The Lobster, right? Which is that one where it called, was it? Yeah. Tom Farrell turned into yeah. a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had uh <laughs> wait see the pressure's going to come down no well we keep I it know. going all right we'll wait to see if it all falls i want to, it's going to cover me now yeah. for audio um half the curtain that we've sail taped up has fallen down now. yeah yeah, yeah. and, and the, uh, because the stand's currently and probably lying somewhere in waverly uh no i don't i don't I back to glasgow see this is what i don't even know what happens to lost property on a train because if nobody notices it does it just keep on that is that does it now live on that train <laughs> That's so funny. Do you know what the do you know what the number plate was? <laughs> of the fucking train. <laughs> <laughs> um but, the, but also we we have put up this backdrop with the thinnest sellotape. I've never seen thinner. Ever. I, it is <laughs> mental, isn't it? It's uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Two centimeters. What is stuff? this sellotape for ants? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for it until it falls down. Yeah. Um yeah, so Magnificent Seven then, basically. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you've not seen it, it is a uh, it's class. It's the storyline is basically a Mexican village are being terrorized by a local bandit who arrives every couple of months and randomly kills a dude. Yeah, uh, and then takes all their crops, takes the hunters of shit, uh, and they're getting fed up with this. But they're they're stupid farmer people, and they have no <laughs> that con- seemed loaded. They have no concept of defending themselves they really didn't they're so useless it's they they really were i also wonder how because the only crop seems to be corn yeah which i didn't realize grew upwards yeah i thought i thought corn came from a tree no <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm the type of person that does not know most of these you're like where well, you know where's a banana come from like the yeah. ground you know but <laughs> Yeah, nah, I knew it, that. It grows like yeah, it's yeah. So I know yeah. what it looks like. Yeah, um, I, I I always knew corn grew like that, like but I never fields. thought about corn on the cobs growing like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right. So um, they uh, in, a, in a way they go to visit the elder, who for me right see the elder guy, the rest of them look Mexican. Yeah, right. He looks <laughs> he look he looks and dresses. Like Zeus, 
The cunt's got like a <laughs> oh, bowl right. haircut. Yeah, he's yeah. wearing like a toga for yeah. some fucking reason. The rest of them are just in these work, work, work. farmer get ups. Yeah, and yeah. he suddenly turns up and f- he's rich as shit. He's got honours of money. So yeah. He says, right, here, take this and go and buy yourself some guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then they go to they go across the border to the old west. <laughs> and uh, they they run into uh, Yul Brenner, uh, who's a who's a gunslinger, a gun a gun for hire. Ain't we all? Uh, listen, <laughs> and uh, they basically say to him, "Look, will you come and defend our village?" And then the first half of the film is him recruiting a team, yeah, to defend the village, and then the second half is them defending the village. It is the exact storyline of every single episode of the A Team. <laughs> yeah yeah literally i mean i know obviously the a-team but the, i just i didn't actually realize how much yeah, the yeah. a-team was just basically the magnificent seven every episode yeah 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 poor down on the luck people yeah yeah hire some <laughs> mercenaries to protect them that's it that is yeah. literally every a-team film and yeah, every yeah. a-team episode and fuck it never it gets boring. Good, good. The A-team's fucking excellent. Yeah, yeah. I, do you know, I remember fuck all about the A-team? Oh. I had watched something when I was a kid. But like, I had the, had the car and all. Um. Um, <coughs> real, real size. But yeah, uh, um, so he recruits <laughs> six other badasses. Yeah, they're not magnificent or badasses, but we'll get to that now. Couple of them are. Couple of them are, like three of them are. Yeah, I would say. I, I would magnificent. Say. Nearly all of them died in wide and open, staring in the middle of a gunfight, going... How many? Di- it's only three of them that die. Was it four? Charles Bronson dies. Yeah. The guy that's uh, obsessed with the money. Yeah. Dies. Which one's the the guy died like a like a bitch, like slumped <laughs> up against the wall? That oh, that's very... Robert Vaughn. Robert Vaughn. That yeah. was real funny because because yeah. he's in the middle of a gunfight, bullets going out, and he shoots someone, and then he just stands there and looks out and goes. <sighs> like it, it yeah. Like, I'll take time to meditate, but and then he gets pinged by one. And but Rob, he... I mean, I, I, we'll, we'll go through. Each we'll go through ca- this. We'll side. go through each character. Yeah. Um, by but in general, did you enjoy it? Yes, yes, I did. I actually, I, I have seen this multiple times. I saw this when I was a kid, hmm. and I thought it was good. I rewatched it. I think about five years ago, and I was like, God, that was nowhere near as good as I remembered it. Yeah. And then I watched it this time again, and I was like, Oh no, it's good. Yeah, so I, 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 I think, loved. Cause my 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 uh, my granddad used to show me westerns a lot. He was watches a, them. He's obsessed with. Ah, uh, Eugene. Ah, uh, Eugene. You've said that like, Eugene's a big fan of western. Does he like this? Does so, he rate yeah, this yeah, as a western? Yeah, he would. I. Um, and I remember watching this when I was a wee boy and thinking it was fucking amazing. Um, and then I watched it this time and I I, I still loved the story, and I still loved a lot of the lot of the scenes. I said to you, the acting is. <laughs> I mean, I know, like, I'm going to try, because I realise I'm going to try and be more critical on this podcast this year. Yeah. Because I, th- I feel like I like too much stuff. Well, it's, yeah, but I mean, we are getting pretty yeah. decent films. And when you're scaving them, we even enjoy the show. Like. Aye. But some of the, I mean, I know it's, I know there's not much to compare it to, but Yul Brenner is dog shit. <laughs> I mean, he really is dog shit. <laughs> he's wooden as fuck. He's got a biz. I mean, you know he's Russian. Yeah. But for Christ's sake, is he the accent is just, he's got no expression on his face. <laughs> You're just like, like James Coburn, who's the guy that's amazing with a knife. Yeah, yeah. He does more acting. Yeah, and yeah. And he yeah. only has three lines in the whole fucking film. <laughs> he's a better actor in this film than Yul Brenner is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, they, uh, they're also of that year, that era where everyone dies in slow motion. Yeah. It's like you've never seen someone get shot. You know, you get shot and you go, yeah, 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 yeah. And then yes. slowly fall. Yes. Like, that's not how it happens yeah. at all. I yeah. wonder, what, I can't figure out when it was, like, the late 70s when people went, that's not how you die. I, I I'm don't trying know. to figure out when someone went, hey, hold on, I have seen one someone be shot. Nobody yeah. goes, oh, you get shot in the head, you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Stand hovering and then go. Aye, aye. I suppose with this, though, they'd, they'd, they'd still be in the kind of era of a hero's death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they can't die, like... Yeah, yeah. They can't get blown apart, like, in Robocop. But, <laughs> uh, They do need to have a... Because even even some of the shots, don't they don't look like they've been shot. Yeah, there was no holes and stuff. No. You know, but, yeah, whatever. I, you know, I could get over that. Like, there's that part at the, the start where a guy, you know, they try to run at the bandit. He just ran, yeah. like, across a whole field, 100 yards with a knife, going, Aye. bah! And then they get shot, and the girl went... <gasps> 
Why did you shoot him? I was like, what did that guy think was going to happen? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Right, I calm know. down gently. I know. Bang. That's why. Have you ever have you ever seen the Wild Bunch? Uh, no. The Western. Uh, you've told me before the 70s. to watch it. Aye. So that that's why it's kind of credited. I watched that off the back of Tarantino constantly going on about it. Okay, right. And it was like a groundbreaking thing in terms of how violent it actually was for a Western. Okay. Because up until now, even when you watch some of the, the Clint Eastwood ones, there's not a huge amount of violence. Yeah, Considering yeah. the time period we're at, yeah. where there is literally no law <laughs> at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you'd be expected. There's always a sheriff's son causing havoc. Aye, aye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's some, there's some real dodgy shit in this film. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, yeah. The, the the girl, what do you call it? Falling in love with your man was odd. The young dude. Yeah, yeah. The, the young guy that was fucking... I hate him. Yeah, yeah, he's dreadful. I hated him. He was so useless too. He was as bad as the people he was defending. Aye. So at the start, he was just like, oh. Aye. He was so like, oh my God, I want to be one of these guys. And when he comes into the bar pissed oh, and aye. starts having a go at Brenner. <laughs> and that that's that that's the cool bit for Brenner. Yeah, yeah. When he starts shooting the wall around his head and Brenner doesn't move an inch. I mean, largely because he's a shite actor because <laughs> he, was he has no to... range. So that was amazing, like... you. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't even know what started film. <laughs> um, but see see that bit when so when they first turn up, because the, the wee horny guy is Steve McQueen in this. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. the minute they turn up, he starts going where are the women at? Like, where? how come there's no women? Where the fuck are the women at, right? And then uh, that wee guy, oh, Christ, I can't even remember his name. Chico, I think his name is. And um, <laughs> You hope he, you got that right. I hope his name's Chico. <laughs> they, someone calls him Chico at one point. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well. Um, so he's like watering his uh, horse. <laughs> he's like, he has led his horse to water. <laughs> um, and... Uh, he sees someone pissing about and it's a, it's a woman and uh, he chases her and then he finds out that they've just hidden the women <laughs> in like a cave. That's right, yeah, yeah. And you go, all right, that makes sense. Is it in, is it in case uh, Calvero, who's the bandit, yeah, yeah. comes back? And then she goes, no, 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 no. The elder said you need to stay away from these gunslingers that are coming because they'll probably rape you, <laughs> right? And then Steve McQueen goes... Maybe we will. And, I'm like, and you're like, what? Said, what? The fuck are you talking about, Steve McQueen? <laughs> you should be, first of all, you should be mad offended. I, <laughs> right from the other. It's like, it, oh, you it, definitely it, it shouldn't was, double down into it. It was kind of like that. Well, that does sound like us, yeah, if I'm guilty. honest. As charged yeah. on the raping of the village. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my mental, mental man. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ. But, eh, uh, there's a couple of things. Um, before before we go through each of the seven, this the <laughs> my my favorite part was one the entire the, when they went into the old west the three three guys that they sent out the fucking the looks they were getting yeah like three rex three Mexicans just <laughs> yeah. rode into town they were like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. fairness sounds changed yeah <laughs> there's quite it's quite um because the, the the way uh, Yo Brown and Steve McQueen meet is because there's like a, a dude that's there's a Native American that's died yeah in the town. And some salesman wants to pay for his burial. Yeah, he thinks that's every right. man deserves a burial. Yeah, and the town locals are refusing to let him be buried because <laughs> yeah. he's Native American. Yeah, and that's when Brenner and McQueen go, "I'll fucking I'll bury the it, cunt. Like, yeah, I yeah. don't I don't care." Yeah, yeah. And then folks are shooting at them <laughs> because they're trying to bury the guy. <laughs> like, it's so mad. The old west. <laughs> Imagine get, getting up and getting your guns. You're like, where are you going, honey? He's like, we're going to bury a goddamn dead man with my relatives. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 I'm, I'm a fucking Indian. <laughs> like, how mad must you have been? Like, why would you ever go to a saloon in the West? Are I know, you? I know. getting shot or decked at one stage. I know, I know. I reckon, I think... I would quite enjoy living in the old west. <laughs> would you? I do. I I, think... I've, I've already. I've, I've just realised I forgot it. Right. So I have a fascination. I'd love to be a cowboy. I think it'd be class. I thought it'd be a great time. I bet. I mean, these are obviously the romanticised version of cowboys. I imagine most people at the time would be like farmers or would be cattle. Not me though. Cattle herders. <laughs> but I've played enough Red Dead Redemption. Oh man, can you imagine like where? Literally, your entire day is 
gambling. Camping and gambling. Guy. <laughs> camping. camping. Why did you do that? Camping. camping. <laughs> Your entire day is outrageous. <laughs> A bit of camping. Is that a ten gallon hat? Are you just <laughs> pleased to see me? <laughs> um, but it is. You're just hanging about a saloon, drinking Waiting whiskey for a... from a dirty bottle yeah, yeah. by the shot, <laughs> and gambling until somebody cheats, and yeah. then it's a gunfight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fucking class. Or someone walks up to you and goes, "I need someone. I need a. I need a man for a job." Yeah. Like, well, that's me, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. Because he asked us to give six men to. Aye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push the push the guy in. Um the soundtrack is incredible. Yes. The tune is awesome. The tune reminds me of Jaws. I didn't realise there was so much because I knew the Oh na, is that the na, 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 na. I know that but song. Before yeah. that there's like a wee skip and it's like <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that, that reminded me of that. Um so that was class. I forgot I had a wee book on cowboys. Oh you've got a wee book on cowboys? Yeah. What is it about? That it's not as interesting as you think. Most of it's just like, how do you put on the... It's coming. Here it comes. Oh. Oh, it's hanging in there. If this hangs on, this will be incredible. I, I, It's kind of like good tension. If you don't know what's happening here, the, we can hear it peeling slightly, the backdrop. <laughs> and it may plunge down. It's oh, coming. Here it comes. It's coming. I turned off the light because I thought that... I hope this is getting picked up in the audio. No. I doubt it. I will. I doubt it. Anyway, um, we'll continue on. It's going to come cut. All falling down. Uh, so, um, one thing I noticed. Right, do you want to just do the people? Aye, may as well. Right, so, Yul Brenner. Yeah. We've already addressed. He's like, he's a leader. Yeah, yeah. Just, he's just called Chris. <laughs> Which I thought was a bit... <laughs> a bit weak. Yeah. But he needs, he needs a cooler. He needs an X in there or uh, something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just even, Chris. A, even a Jack uh, kind of yeah, gets away yeah, with yeah. it. Chris. It seems like a very modern name, Chris, as yeah, well. Yeah. It's like, oh, who, 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 you know, someone called Stuart. Uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Darren. Greg. <laughs> my, I owe this man my life. Who's his name? It's Gavin. <laughs> Fuck off. No, but Gavin. <laughs> what a dreadful name. <laughs> um, Gavin the gunslinger. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I quite liked his character. I thought he was quite sound. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was uh yeah, he, he was a lefty cowboy. Oh, was he lefty? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like he he lefty for money. Aye. Well then mind you, he had morals because he wasn't gonna leave the town behind. No. <laughs> it's so oh, no. funny that this is this is like me I'm sitting under like a tree <laughs> and I can hear crack and going <laughs> when's it all? Oh, oh, that's yeah. it. Well, that's pretty much it because it's just not going to come in now. Oh, no, there we go. And then here comes the last bit. Just fucking come down. Um, I was go. hoping it was naturally going to come down and cover me. Now it just looks like we're doing... Uh, so this is Slass and Humphreys on the road. <laughs> 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 I'm going to... I am... For the next one, I'm going to double it up. Yeah, yeah. We'll and do, then we'll... I'm going to phone uh, Waverly Station and say... Hi. Where's I? I could just buy another one. Yeah. Rather, I mean, they're, rather than try to track this down, it would be probably better, wouldn't it? I mean, it's only about tenner, isn't it? That was about thirty quid. Ah, uh, well, fucking money bags here, <laughs> fucking old, old taxis done in fifty-five minutes. Here. I, I thought I was like, it's only tenner, about thirty. I went, all right, well, that's but I probably would go. I would go track track it down then. <laughs> Can I find the station master <laughs> knocking his door when I get home tonight? Yeah, pull it. You're, 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 you're going to get dressed as a cowboy. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I listen. I don't care if you're in your bed. <laughs> you will open up that station and try and find my stand. <laughs> um, Why do cowboys wear spurs? By the way, you know, the, kick the horse. I thought it was just like, like a little bell, you know, like so you know they're coming. You know, like a what? <laughs> you know, it's like, a spiky. <laughs> They're a little make noise. That's it's, the, it's the fucking G the horse to, oh, to go. Makes them go quicker because it's like it spins and it's like a dynamo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Do you know what? I tried to watch Cowboys and Aliens recently, uh -huh. and uh, I, I used to love that film, and I turned it off after about twenty minutes. I've never seen it. I thought this was fucking crap. What was I thinking the last time I saw this? No, I've never seen it. Um, Steve McQueen. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Right, McQueen. Always. The coolest man that has ever lived. You, you have said this multiple times. Yeah. Have I said this in this podcast? This is the first Steve McQueen I feel film like, we've done. Oh, then, oh, then it must be the first time on this. But you have said it 
I think that. genuinely the coolest. By all accounts, an utter, an utter bell end in real life. Is he? Yeah, apparently so. Ugh. Um, but Ugh. well, a bell end in terms of just a bit of a prick. Like he's not done anything. Yeah, yeah. He might have. It might have. He might have abused. Well, yeah, that wives. Yeah, yeah. But who didn't in those days? <laughs> who didn't? Didn't we all? In the old west. <laughs> I wish I could get a time machine back then. He might have hid his wife in a cave. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, he improvised that line. I uh, fucking might be into the whole village. <laughs> oh, we'll keep that in. But I, I, think he, I think he's cool. I think he's the best thing in this film. I think he's, I think he's the best he thing. He definitely in is the best film. thing in the film. Him and your brother hated each other. Oh, did they? Yeah. Why? They hated each other until the, the week or the week or the month that Steve McQueen was dying. And then because they were too... Because they were both the same. You could, they could have played either. Aye, but Steve McQueen was like this his whole career. I remember because I love. Have you ever seen the film The Tower in Inferno? I actually feel like I have. Disaster yeah. film. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. There, there was big tension What's between it about? him and. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, him and Paul Newman hated each other, but it was all about ego. It was all about who was the bigger star. Yeah, and yeah. that was kind of him with Yul Brynner and this. So I was reading various things that, and then once I'd read it, I went back and watched some of the scenes they had together. Whenever Yul Brynner's talking, Steve McQueen will be doing shit in the background to basically take the eyes off Yul Brynner, right? So whenever he's delivering a speech or if he's doing something, you'll see Steve McQueen in the background <laughs> like pissing about with his hat or fucking twiddling <laughs> with something just to draw the eye away. That's so annoying. Right? So that fucked off. Brenner. That's so funny. Just in his underwear going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Yul Brenner um, had a huge hang up about the fact that he wasn't as tall. Or he was the same height as Steve McQueen, but he wanted to be taller than him. So he used to make wee mounds of dirt <laughs> for any scene they were in. So he would stand on that and get, uh, get uh, above them. Like, that's fucking lo- would... I love that shit. That's such penniness. Who's the, the dirt guy? Oh no, he'd make them himself. Uh, he'd make yeah, wee fucking better. Because and imagine if you they give me a dirt guy, I want wee mounds wherever I stand, so I'm slightly taller than Steve and McQueen. Steve Either. McQueen found out this was going on and then he would kick them down. What, what, kick them in wee mounds. Well, hold on, what did he think they were? I don't know. Did he not? Say, what are you doing there? Scene. He's like, just a second. <laughs> Steve's like, what are you doing? <laughs> wee mole, hello. <laughs> you built a step ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus uh, Christ. So they're the two main dudes. And then you've got James Coburn, who is the, the fastest man. The fastest man. He's faster He's faster with a knife than any man is with a gun. Yeah. Which is a cool... I think that's a cool scene. Yeah, it is. I mean, I don't know how they, they, they came to that. He know, says but... he says fuck all throughout the film. He's all about the action. He's yeah, all about yeah. the killing. He's just there. Kill <laughs> he's cunts. just here to murder. Aye. But aye, that bit where the guy challenges him to a draw. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And they do it. So they do it initially where he shoots a tin can or a bottle behind him. Yeah, yeah. And he stabs his knife into a, a like a telegraph pole. And then he, he thinks he's won it. And then Coburn just goes, nah, you lost. And then he goes, right, we'll do it for fucking real. And then he just fucking throws a knife in his heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Game over. Yeah. Yeah. So he was class. Charles Bronson. Yes. Was class. Yeah. Uh, he's just a big dude that he's just a, he's just hard. And do you know what his name was? No, what was it again? Bernardo O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> he says this at one point. He's like, he's half Mexican, half Irish. I did remember that. Sorry, yes, Bernardo O'Reilly. I'm definitely have that written Bernardo down. Bernardo O'Reilly. Bernardo O'Reilly. Do you know this game? <laughs> Bernardo you know, O'Reilly. <laughs> you know the game we used to have in our WhatsApp group where you tell us Irish comics. And Aye. we'd just go, That's a, you've just made that name yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And then we would come up with things like... Yeah, yeah. Like... Skitty O'Rourke. Like flimsy pyjamas and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> flimsy pyjamas, the Irish comic. <laughs> um, oh. So, before we do the rest of them... Well, because there isn't really that. The one thing I noticed, sorry, about... Um, Wasn't that Bronson that got killed with the kids? Yeah. He died because of the stupid fucking children. Because of the fucking kids, yeah. Oh, but it drove me mad. Like, how many times is like, you're going to get me killed? And, aye. Then, and then the very last scene. Those three he... wee wanks. Aye, aye, wee fuckers. I would have lit them up. Aye. <laughs> but, do you know what I noticed about them, right? They, uh... so for some reason, those kids just take to him. They yeah. don't really take to any of the other gunslingers. They just <laughs> really love there was, a mis- there was a missing scene. 
No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> no. Um, it's just those three wee dudes. Yeah. I quite like to see the scene where... The, 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 so the Magnificent Seven, they've been double-crossed, basically, because the villagers. Yeah. Now, we'll get to that bit, because I can't believe it. <laughs> so, and he's packing up his shit to leave, and they're like, can we come with you? Because you're a brave man, and we're sick of hanging about with our dads because they're cowards. Yeah, yeah. And he fucking bends the kid over and smacks his arse, like, fuck, he goes, will you ever say that about your dad? That, that your dad fucking provides for a family? He's a braver man than I could ever be. And I was like, Jesus. <laughs> fucking hell. But see, when he first meets the kids, yeah, those three wee boys come along and they go, oh yeah, all of us kids drew straws and whoever we got, we would tend your grave. Yes. If you died. Yeah. They are the only three that turn up. All the other, all the, all the other magnificent seven that have died, their graves aren't touched. Their kids couldn't have given a shit about them. Those wee dudes are coming with flowers and everything. The other two graves, fuck all. It's not even a grave; they're just still Literally dead. Literally nothing. Just decaying in the corner. I thought that was hilarious. Uh, I can't believe he wasn't angry at them. Oh, I know, I know. I'd be like, did you see this? This is all you. I hope it haunts you. <laughs> That's what I would say. Like, look, because I fucking told you this would happen. I know I'm dead. You stupid little cunts. You said you'd pick up my gun. None of you have done that yet. Yeah, yeah. You pick up and and also glad because you just get shot too. Um, do you know? Like, um, I yeah, I, I thought it'd be funny. I said they were lefties. The reason why I said they were lefties is because no Republican would learn, teach Mexicans to shoot. <laughs> That's why I said they were big lefties. Mag seven. <laughs> Are you left-handed? No. You seem like you should be. Uh, you know what? I, I, I would be offended by that, but I do kind of get where you're coming yeah. from. Yeah. Like, if I gun. looked at you and they yeah, said, he's, he's, oh, he's left-handed, you'd go, uh, yeah. figures. <laughs> it's fucking figures. Um, um, I've got some... Right. Um, the other three, there's was Brad Dexter. The only news, he's pals with Sinatra. He's the guy that's just interested in getting gold. Okay, he's, yes, he's, yeah. he's pretty unconsequential. Yeah, Brad Dexter. The That's wee good. young, the wee young dudes. He's oh. just trying. He's a farmer anyway, but he wants to be a cowboy. Yeah, yeah. And then he realizes the life of a gunslinger isn't all it's cracked up to be. Yeah, so yeah. He ends up falling in love with a village yeah. girl. Took her being, away. Took her away on her shoulder. His shoulders. He did, I threatened to throw her in the water. He I'll did. throw you in the fucking water. Ah, exactly. <laughs> I know. And then the last one's Robert Vaughn, who's doesn't do much, but for some reason, is he got like fucking ptsd or something he acts I, like he's oh, just the, back from nam ah uh, yeah yeah and he wakes up yeah i think that's what they're trying to do so but, and he can't fight like it's almost like he can't pu- pull his gun he's like the, the cop and die hard yes he's yes, done he's yes, killed yes. a kid yeah and he can't pull his guns anymore until the end where he just goes on a fucking kamikaze <laughs> mission where he busts into a room full of like nine guys and just starts fucking like we roll yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 it, it, it was that was good that was good that uh, okay um the the original john wick <laughs> <laughs> so bernardo o'reilly right was yes. uh, charles Brown's name so i've got other cowboys names oh no right some of them are made up so yeah. you have to tell me which ones are real or oh, fake. no all right right okay so real or fake cowboy names right arkansas tom jones <laughs> what no you're saying no no he's real arkansas, arkansas tom jones. arkansas tom jones it doesn't even it's not even fucking it doesn't even run off the tongue a bit. No. That was a real cowboy, Arkansas Tom Jones. Yeah. North Dakota Michael Bublé. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it might be fake. I North Dakota Michael Bublé. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she is. <laughs> he only turns up around Christmas time. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Big Nose Kate. <laughs> Big Nose Kate. Big Nose Kate. A real, uh, a real gun slinger. Real. She's real. She's real. Big nose Kate. Uh, uh, you know, I'll yummy that. Uh, Big nose Kate is real. Uh, arseless Bobby Britches. <laughs> arseless. Fuck off. Just, uh, he wears chaps. The, the arse kind of... Arseless Bobby Britches. Uh, no, fake. Fake. Yeah. Fake. Fake. Uh, fucking arseless. Yeah. <laughs> Billy the Kid. Yeah, he's real. He's real. Bobby the Kid. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Like, why did you put such an easy one in? And I was like, you set it up. Bobby, Billy the Kid, and Bobby the Kid, <laughs> they were enemies. Right. Okay. Obviously fake. Johnny Ringo. Johnny Ringo. Oh, I'm going to go. Tr- well, true. True. Johnny Ringo. He's in um, 
Tombstone. He's the guy that uh, uh, Val Kilmer says, I'm your Huckleberry. I've not seen Johnny this Ringo. All right. That's what's so there. Johnny Ringo, he's real. Um, Doc Holliday. <laughs> is Doc Holliday, is that? No, that's Doc Brown, is it? That, and Back to the Future. Yeah. Doc Holliday. False. Nope, true. Doc Holliday is um, Val Kilmer in Tombstone. <laughs> Doc fun. Holliday. <laughs> I think, I think anyway, if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm embarrassed. But Doc Holliday, yeah. Okay. With Wyatt Earp. It was in Wyatt Earp. Oh, Earp's you're right. right? Okay, Doc Holliday. So right. Doc Holliday real. Nurse City Break. <laughs> you're such a fucking cunt. <laughs> you're such a cunt. <laughs> I'm so ap- apologize if I, <laughs> if I've got this wrong. You fucking wanker. Um, Nurse City Break. <laughs> Uh, and the last one, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. <laughs> That's a wrestler. It's a wrestler. He said if he gave me a shout out before. He what? Hacksaw Jim Duggan gave you a shout yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. Me and I think it was like, I was doing like roast spells in like 2016 in Monkey Barrel. There was like one of their first attempts at it. And they were doing some smack talk. He just, they bought like a cameo off him going like, yeah, Brian and Connor Bird's good fight or whatever. Yeah. Fuck off. That's amazing. I'll find that. I have no idea who he was. Hacksaw Jim Duggan used to come to... Uh, I know he is now, yeah. His whole, his whole gimmick was he would come to the ring with a big bit of wood. <laughs> That's literally, he would go, oh! And then he'd just come... To the, that, that was it. That was his whole character. He had a big bit of wood. <laughs> the wood guy. <laughs> I've got um, a tiny bit of... Uh, we'll wrap this up very soon, right? But I had a very tiny bit here. It says, the most softest of racism in this film... When he goes, if God didn't want them sheared, he wouldn't have made them sheep. Ooh. And I was like, was that? That is about- good. Yeah, yeah. There was a big, there's a big racist um, uh, yeah. argument about this film because Eli Wallach, who plays, so he's one of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, yeah, I know that, yeah. Um, he plays Calvero, who's the Mexican yeah. bandit, but he's not Mexican. Okay, in any way whatsoever. Is he not? I actually didn't know that. I, he's, he's, a, he's a fucking good Mexican, isn't he? Like, yeah, he's, but he's, it. Not, he's just a. He's just a, a <laughs> That's Ju- funny. We're like, I don't know. He nailed it. Just Jewish guy from New York, apparently. Maybe like, Scarlett Johansson will be able to do a exactly. Japanese woman. But then, so go. people <laughs> people lost their shit a bit. People, I, I read that it was one of those things that came up again years later. Like at the time, no one could give a fuck. Right. Um, but uh, years later. They thought uh, somebody got a hold of it and go, This is disgrace. Why would they not? But they never bothered about the fact that Yul Brenner, who's a Russian, oh, he's, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he played the fucking King of Siam <laughs> okay. as well. And he's playing a. So it's that kind of like. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. All over the place. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, interesting. Funny that bringing up Eli Wallach years ago later. I know. No, I get it if someone does it now, but I'm just like, right, it's over. Like, uh, what do you want to happen now? What like do you that, want to it's happen? Like, it's like the John Wayne shit. The, uh, like, John uh, Wayne. Who was that? Who was, uh, it? was it? Bill Burr talking about? Yeah, yeah. He was born in 1890. Yeah, exactly. I know. I, know. <laughs> um, I just have a couple of notes here. First of all, about cowboys, I've always thought about lassos and saloon doors are mm. both pointless. Right, lassos, lasso on somebody. In real life, I reckon that's happened once. No, but it's not for is it not for it's for lassoing cows and because they get them by the it's for bulls they get them by the horns and stuff. So how else are you getting a by like, it's, your it's perfect with your so, goddamn sh- hands like a real man? <laughs> <laughs> right, saloon doors. Then what's that? Doesn't keep the heat out. Doesn't keep the heat in. Doesn't do anything. But I don't. I don't know why they would be. Why is I just sal- assume because they wouldn't have enough for a full door. <laughs> That's I can't that can't be the reason. They have full walls and they're like, would they go short with the doors? No, well but, maybe there was Well, they're definitely the, 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 it makes sense that they would just swing open because I don't think yeah, the concept of a lock <laughs> yeah. had happened yet. Because you see it in cowboy films whenever they go to the bathroom, the lock is like a bit of rope that they pull oh, and right. tassel it around like that. Okay. So So I'm assuming that's why they just swing. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it does let the heat. Uh, Maybe it does, does let the wind in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like it does. it's a complete waste of time. Just take own... it off. Just take it off. What do they have in houses? I don't think I've ever seen a house in a western. That's a normal door. Is it a normal door? Yeah. 
Yeah, big wooden that, door. That would make sense. So why the fuck are they only using I just them don't understand a... what saloon doors were for. Why there was, there was even a need. Was it just like, it's going to be open all the time anyway, but just to let you know that someone's come in or not. Is it like a bell? Yeah, that's it... a good point, actually. Don't know. I've also got cowboy pajamas always look like they're stinking skin suits. <laughs> They do. They're always fucking rotten. Yeah, I'm not expecting them to be washing them. In fairness, uh, I've also got like uh, these lads don't change their clothes at all. The whole film. I feel like they wouldn't. In real life, I reckon every. No, day, they probably wouldn't. But... They're probably absolutely fucking. St- do you remember the shovel fight? That Unless was... <laughs> they've got just shitloads of the same outfit. Like they go into pennies. Like a, they go, imagine, like, <laughs> like I do with black shirts going yeah, on stage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Needs to be the exact same color. Um, yeah, they, as in they're, they're, they're magnificent, but they all died quite funny. Mm. But my main one, right, is it was very funny back in those days uh, how serious you had to get when you were just trying to bang a girl. Yeah. Because he tries to, he runs off with her one, right, then meets her in a second. And just before he kisses her for the first time, he goes, oh, I'm not sure if I can work here living my life away as a farmer. I know. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. It's like an end away. I know. <laughs> It's like, I haven't even kissed her yet. He's like, I don't know if I could be a farmer. I just pulled that in the nightclub. I'm from Fife. Well, I'm not sure if I could live my life away. I'm not sure I can give up technology. 17, freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> give up technology. That's so good. I'm not sure I can go back to eating with my hands. <laughs> Uh, oh god uh, bye is it, I, I, like, it. Is it, it, I can tell it it's dated but it's still a good film yeah and it's a good it's a good it. good, thought, good story I thought the, the, the scenery was class the actual where it was ah, it looks amazing that unbelievable the shit in the back I don't, but that, before we do finish I don't know why when they when the villagers betray them okay for Calvero I don't know why they go back to save them genuinely no idea okay yeah he's probably I know he blaming but just one or two of them. But I know they've got like though. unfinished business, but fuck them. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, he was the only one that kind of, he convinced them they all come back. Yeah. The rest of them were like, ugh. It's bloody ridiculous. Why does, why does that Mexican bandit let them go anyway? Is it like a show of respect? Like, yeah, he should have killed them. Yeah. Aye. Like, what's, what's, what's the thing? Yeah. yeah. I think he's trying to make sure that nobody else comes back or something. He's like, just go away now. You fucked up. Aye. No need for it. Oh, and that's a good point. No, he does make it. He does say, if I kill you, that'll end up like the entire more people. I will... border will come. Whereas if you if you just fuck off, then I'll I can keep this wee yeah, this sweet this thing I've got going on. Aye. <laughs> yeah, sweet. aye, that is a good point. Aye, aye. that's okay. it. Still, um, aye, it's class. If you've not seen it, it's yeah, it, it's fucking brilliant. You can watch it free on YouTube as well. Yeah, that's that what I watched it. I did the dodgy box. It was there. Oh, is it? And the new one. I've seen that. That's not good. I've not seen the new one. That's not. Good. I'm gonna go and watch it. But... Do but no. Nah. Aye. I'll go and see it. Um, what will we do next week? Oh, is this? It's not our first yes. sports film, but we're going for any given Sunday. This is not our first sports film, is it? What was our first sport? What was it? What sports films have we done? I don't think we have done one. No, we probably have just done the sports in a film. We've done a baseball film. Um, I don't know why I have. We didn't do the longest yard. We didn't We've done, do... done an ice hockey film. We've not done a. That must be it. Then film. it is our first done a basketball film. film? No, I don't think no. so. Oh, no. well. There you go. Class. Uh, we're going to do any given fucking Sunday. NFL film. Yes. Sweet. Yes, we're going to NFL. Good, good, good. Right. Um, plugs. Um, if, uh, yeah, if, if you could uh, give us a review. Um, the wee guy got in touch with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, did, yeah. did the one star review, which was brilliant. Um, I loved the fact it was a fucking clacking review. Thanks so much, man. Yeah. Um, but also, uh, now that he's done it, if you could just give us five from now on. <laughs> Did you, are you, trying to, you don't want everyone to because, think it's a good idea. Because now. it does help the algorithm <laughs> massively. Like the more five star reviews we have, the more it will get shared to people and the more it will get recommended. So a lovely touch, but <laughs> you're trying, I was like, you've I'm made, you've made your point now. So uh, <laughs> big fan of it. Um, my, uh, whenever this goes out, my tour will be starting uh, so if this goes out on Tuesday, then my tour will be starting the week after. Yeah. Um. So starting at Limelight in Belfast, and then Cork on the Saturday, Dublin on the Sunday. 
Um, and then dates after that. Uh, it's selling pretty well in Ireland. So if you are in Ireland, then please come along. Uh, there'll be great, great fun. Yes. Um, Colin, anything? I'm going to Denver. Still. Will you be back in? Uh, you will. Uh, you're still going to Denver. I'm yeah, going to yeah. Denver and then I'm going to Adelaide now. That's Aye. it. Aye. Yeah, there's no pair if that's not happening. Yeah. And it's a good lineup you've got in Adelaide as well. Yeah, with Mark Simmons and Luke Benson. Luke Benson so if there's yeah. any Aussies or Americans, that's pretty much to do. By that, I'm not uh, I won't be back until uh your gig. Yeah. In the King's Theatre. Apart from next week's episode. No, I'll be here. And all the episodes that will be released while you're away. Oh right. Well, I don't know where the fuck I am. I'm in Skegness. No, that that's tomorrow. No, I won't, you won't hear that from now. Yeah, yeah. So oh good. yeah, yeah. Like this, <laughs> we're, as we're recording this, shit's happened. That like I've already. I'm back from <laughs> Tenerife <laughs> with Milo and Elliot. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all over so the place. I'll I'll update you on anything that happens. Are you going to try and pretend these all happen just so it thinks yeah. and then Milo and this Elliot was, are like, that's This not is funny. what it must be like to film uh, Jules Holland's Hootin' Annie. <laughs> Where you're like, what the fuck are you saying Happy New Year for, Jules? It's the middle of July. What the... <laughs> I've often wondered, right? See how they film that well before? Yeah. What if somebody dies? <laughs> like, because they're Rod Stewart. Now, I'm not saying Rod Stewart's close to death. But they've had it before is. where they've had... Hot Legs Rod. They've had people, past their 70s, <laughs> music stars. What well, if they it? die between, <laughs> well, six like, months I, in between? Yeah, yeah, he di- died a week before New Year's, like yeah. Christmas, and it's too late to get anyone back would in. They, would they acknowledge it or... Just so you know, that would be such a grim subtitle thing, disclaimer. Yeah. Because Billy you Bob Joe died. Yeah, on you it. can't have fucking... You know, imagine he died in like... Imagine Rod Stewart died in tragic <laughs> circumstances. Imagine, right? <laughs> Imagine. Rangers fan got him. Imagine Rod Stewart died in a house fire <laughs> and they've got him doing hot legs. <laughs> and Imagine. It, Jules. Oh, man. How has he never been cast as the Penguin? What, Jules Holland? <laughs> He's a brilliant Penguin in <laughs> <and> Batman. <laughs> You'd be unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> there was a tragic uh, ferry accident today. <laughs> uh, Rod Stewart was among <laughs> one of the victims. Here he is. We are sailing. That's why I try to get Rod Stewart song. Oh, God. I don't even know any of his songs to make a joke along with it. Oh. But like, he was stabbed by a woman called Maggie May. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have none. <laughs> uh, right. Thank you for listening. Uh, and we'll see you next week for anyone Sunday. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye-bye.